This is the Envolute puzzle designed by Stuart Coffin. Uh, I chose to use zebra wood on two of the faces, paddock on two of the faces, and purple heart on two of the faces. The corners are made of birch, and there are eight interior cubes you can't see yet, which are made of walnut. This puzzle happens to look very similar to Stuart Coffin's other puzzle, Convolution. However, this one has seven pieces, and this one has eight, so there actually is a different process for assembly and disassembly. I'm going to show the solution to this puzzle now, so if you don't want to see that, uh, you can head to the links in the description and head over to my website. Okay, so the way this puzzle is disassembled is by finding the key piece, which is relatively difficult to identify, but since I built it, I know where it is. So this is the first piece that comes out. Now, part of the puzzle can slide, and two more pieces can be removed. Now this piece is free, but it actually can't be removed yet. What you have to do is remove this piece and this piece simultaneously. So they have to slide, hopefully. It's a rather snug fit. So the fourth piece slides out, and the fifth piece rotates at the same time, and then they're both freed. There are only three pieces remaining, and they come out relatively easily. And so there are the eight pieces, and now you can see the walnut that makes up the interior. All right, I'm going to put it back together now. It's relatively easy to identify the first piece as it looks pretty different than all the others. The second piece has this one cube on top and it looks like this. So you slide these two together. Then you grab the third piece which looks like this. It fits right there. The tricky part of the assembly then is to get this fourth and fifth pieces to align. So this piece will end up right here but you need to start it, rotate it about 90 degrees, and insert this piece, and together one slides and the other rotates into position. So now this piece can go here, but before we do that, you need to insert the final, well there are two more, three more pieces. So this is the sixth piece, it fits right there. Then there's the seventh piece, which fits here. Then this puzzle can be slid back, and now the key piece can be inserted, completing the puzzle. And when it's inserted, it doesn't actually fall out. It's a pretty snug fit. All right, thanks for watching.